Hey everybody. I decided to log in a few minutes early just to make sure that we don't have any issues. I got a new mic and I don't know if it's working properly. I tested it out last night, but um, you never know. Things always go the worst when you actually hit that live button and then everyone's like, ah, I can't hear you. So I just want to make sure that everybody can hear me okay. Um, I do have our chat screen box open. So if you can hear me okay, um, type summer in the chat box. I don't know, maybe because today it's sunny outside and I'm super excited for summer to be here, which is weird. I normally love, love winter, but um, I think I'm just ready for some warm months here. So again, if you can hear me okay, I want to make sure... Um, that you're hearing, hearing me because I got a new mic. And so it would be really crappy if it wasn't working right. But like I said, I tested it last night with my husband and everything seemed to be working fine. But you never know. It's always the days that you end up going live and you never know. Um, so type summer in the chat box if you can hear me okay. And actually this is being kind of weird. So I got to change the height on it really quick. So thank you guys for coming today. This workshop is going to be really, really intense. Um, not bad intense. I, should, I shouldn't say intense because intense is kind of intense. Um, this workshop is filled with a lot of information. So, okay, perfect. You can hear me. Um, it's, it has a lot of information in this workshop today. So you're going to walk away with tons of valuable information. And honestly, I was a little worried that maybe I put too much because, I mean, I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too much information, but I'd rather you leave with too much than too little, right? I would never want you to come and be like, oh, I wanted more of that. So, um, sorry, I'm trying to fix my mic. It's being, uh, it keeps sliding down rather than staying up so I can have it at the right time. Summer, summer, perfect. Good. You guys can hear me. And I noticed too, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I haven't changed my calendar yet. I know it's like the end of, it's like the middle of February and I still have January up there. I need to just tear it off, but I was going to do it right before today's workshop, but it's black. February is black. And I didn't think that that would be as fun. And yeah. Okay. So finally, I got my mic to stay. Um, I do have my chat box open, so if you guys have any questions, but I would love for you to um, type in your name, maybe your business name too, so I can go check you guys out. I love checking you guys out after to see your websites and what you do um, and where you're logging in from today. <laughs> I'm logging in from a beautiful beach in the Bahamas. Totally was a joke. Obviously, I'm in my home office. I wish I was in the Bahamas in a little bit warmer weather. Um, I will give about one more minute before we start. Uh, I want to let, um, I had a few emails this morning from people that were going to be joining us late, and that's totally fine. Um, so I'll just give it one more minute to go. And I know I got my crazy Aztec shirt on today. It's actually my husband's. <laughs> it's like the only one that fits me right now since I am super pregnant eight months and not a lot of clothes fit me anymore. Charlotte and Ezra. Awesome. Definitely going to check you out. I love that you put the link there too. So you could just click on it right away. Awesome. I love that. Let's see. Mama's going to mom. <laughs> so cute. Target shopper of the year. That's totally mine. <laughs> I swear. That's totally me. That's awesome. Hi, Steph. You're from EliMonster.com. Eli Monster. Um, hi, Kate. So creative in the UK. In the UK. I want to say, do I know you? Have we met before? Because that name sounds really familiar to me but I'm not sure. Um, oh, great. Now, there we go. Eli Monster, let's check that out. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to start in just a second. I'm just going to let the 
few stragglers roll through. And also I have um, my heater on it. Like my office is the coldest room in my room, uh, in my house and I don't wanna be freezing. So I have it on. But if it's bothering you guys, I can totally shut it off if you can hear it. Oh, super cute. These are adorable little dresses and bloomers for little girls. Adorable. Awesome, I love that. Not Nobody ever puts their link so I can actually go check them out right now. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First, thank you guys so much for coming today. Um, is this workshop's gonna be about 60 minutes. Like I said, it's super jam-packed with information. Um, I hope I don't overwhelm you today, but you will wanna stay till the end. I'm gonna give you guys some information on how you can watch the, work, the replay and get all kinds of other stuff that I, um, actually offering this time that I've never I've never done before with a workshop usually I just do um, the workshop and then I you know send out a replay but this time I'm kind of sending out information as well when we're finished my lips are really chapped um, um, yeah I'm sending out additional information to you guys that show up so not as far as I know but more than happy to jump out of the plane to the U.S. <laughs> That's funny. Alexandra from Ottawa, Canada. Awesome. Stella B. Design. Sorry, I can read. It's just that the chat box is super tiny, so it's hard for me to get through. Okay, so I'm going to switch over my screen so you can see what I'm seeing. Um, that's not the right button. Okay. So, um, it may go wonky for just a quick minute, but I'm just going to switch it over. And let's go here. Okay. Sorry, I just saw like <laughs> a paused screenshot of my face that I was making while I was looking. Oh. That's funny. Sometimes I forget that like the camera's on me and you can see my face. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, again, thank you so much for coming to, to today's workshop. It's uh, super jam-packed with tons of info today. And um, it's all about how to build your own PR machine um, without spending any money, okay? So that's the kicker is everyone can, um, can you do PR? You can hire a PR firm, but the trick is to do PR, get press, get mentions in the media without spending money, right? Because we're on a shoestring budget. We're in a, you know, we just started our brand or we're just a small company and don't have a huge budget. Hi, Hannah. You're coming in from California. Awesome. Awesome. Sandy Silk Sky. Awesome. I can't wait to check you out. I love the little star. Okay, so you're gonna wanna stay till the end. I have um, a 12 month pitching calendar bonus actually that I've never um, offered before, but this is something I use um, every single day. Like this is what's helped me get from point A to point B and gotten me so many press mentions because I put together this 12 month pitching calendar and it just makes it so achievable um, and actionable for everybody. So hi Marie from New York. Um, you're gonna to wanna to stay to the end. And also I have information on the 24 hour replay along with other um, helpful tools I'm gonna to give you guys. Um, I'm just gonna send it to you guys in an email, uh, but you're gonna to wanna to hear about that stuff. Okay, so you are in the right place today if you want to gain some media attention for your business, but you don't really know where to start, right? That's kind of where we all start, is we want some media attention, we want PR, we see other brands that get press, like, you know, I mean, you see them posts on Instagram, look, we were featured in this magazine today, and you're like, oh man, you're super excited for them, but you're like, how the heck do I do that? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you where to get, how to get started. Um, if you wanna reach a larger targeted audience without spending money on advertisements, right? We've all spent money on advertisements. I think the first time I did an advertisement was with Facebook and like I just watched $150 like go down the drain. And $150 is a big deal when you're, you know, you're just a startup and you're small. So, 
And I, I think I got maybe one cell from that, so it totally wasn't very awesome. If you want to skyrocket sales by creating a media frenzy around your products, and the most important thing is to know that you absolutely can, and I'm going to show you how. <clears throat> if you want to build authority by being featured in magazines, how fun, right? I know, it's like super excited to even think about. Um, TV shows, major blogs, you know, like the Ojoy blog, she's awesome, I just love her. Um, online media publications like the Huffington Post or Forbes or Inc.com, and even working with celebrities. So yes, this is, if you want any of those things, you totally showed up in the right place today. If you don't have the money, Number one kicker, right? If you don't have the money to hire a PR firm, but you do want to get the exposure that you've always dreamed about, right? I mean, I'm sure when you first started your business, you had huge hopes and dreams and you totally showed up today. Uh, if you want to be able to accomplish those dreams without, you know, spending money on a fancy PR firm. Okay. I want to start off today with this quote and I hope it sticks with you. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. I want you to just think about that for a minute and maybe think about how long you've been in business and how many opportunities you could have missed or you may have missed at this point. But think, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So if you never put any effort into something, of course, you're never going to get any results, right? So if you write anything down today, I hope that it's this quote because it kind of is everything. So a little bit about me, if you haven't, I'm just going to quickly introduce myself and then we'll get into the nitty gritty. Um, some of you already know me and some of you may have, this might be your first workshop you've been to with me. So this, I'm Lindsay. I'm the owner of Law 801, which is a children's brand for the offbeat cool kids. I started this brand in 2014 and I actually had a full-time job. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I, I had a full-time job at the time and I was actually pretty successful in my job. I was a project manager at a small company making awesome money more money than most of my friends in my mid twenties and I was doing awesome, but I just wasn't like that happy. I wanted to be able to do what I wanted. I hated the nine to five going in every day and having to answer to somebody. I wanted to like be in charge of my own and just be excited about what I was doing every day. So I started law 801 after I had my daughter and, um, yeah. So the first full year of law 801, I actually ran law 801, as well as keeping my full-time job. So I did both in parallel for the first full year, year and a half, okay? And then I got to a point where I was like, hey, I can't do both anymore, it's way too hard, so I quit my job. It was like in February, and I was like, I am just gonna quit my job, and it was the scariest thing I've ever done. And at that time, I had been doing Law 801 for a little over a year, and to be honest with you, I still was not being able to cut myself a check. I still had not cut myself a check from Law 801. I mean, it was making money and sustaining itself, but I wasn't making any extra money to be able to give myself an income. So that was really scary to quit my job, to go to a job where I wasn't making money. Um, so it was not easy. Um, I was getting a few sales here and there without any consistency. So maybe a few weeks would go by and then I'd get a sell and I'd be like, woo! -hoo! But they were not consistent and it was kind of scary, right? I mean, that would be scary. You're quitting your job and you don't have any money. What do you do? Okay, so then I got to the point where each month my business started to grow. And it, again, it, like I said, it was not easy. Um, but once I quit my job, I was like in full overdrive. I had to figure something out because I needed to support my family. So soon I was getting weekly sales, which was so exciting for me because I sometimes would go weeks without sales. And then I started to get weekly sales. And then I got daily sales and I went from three figure months to four figure months. And then I was able to start cutting myself a check every month, which was awesome. I was, uh, it was just the best feeling in the world. I'll never forget the first time I cut myself a check. Um, and I found a system that just was working, right? It just, obviously something I was doing was right. And the best part was the system I figured out was completely free. It was not spending 
or costing me any money. So what was that? It was press, right? Along with so many other things, I mean, I did implement new things into my business, but press was the big thing that helped grow my brand. So then I was able to start a press page on my, on my uh, website and now I've been seen in all kinds of places, right? Uh, these are just a few places that I put on there, the Huffington Post, the Oh Joy blog, Inc., Lifestyle, um, Kiwi Magazine, Vogue, Pregnancy and Newborn. Vogue was pretty cool. But I was able to get a ton of press in a short amount of time and small business owners started emailing me like, how did you do this? My friends were like, how'd you do this? How were you able to, how did they find you? And that's when I decided to, uh, you know, help out other small business owners and show them how they can replicate what I was doing. But the biggest kicker is that they didn't find me. Kate, the press did not come to me. If I would have just sat there and waited for them to come, they never would have come. I mean, how would a how would an editor in New York hear about you know this small, tiny brown in Salt Lake City? So today, I'm going to show you how all of this was possible. Okay. So you're going to learn how press can explode your business completely, I mean, literally overnight. How to skyrocket sales by reaching more people with less effort. So that's that was the main kicker for me in my business. That's what helped me gain so much traction, credibility, trust, and sales. Okay, so I was able to reach a huger audience with a lot less effort and not spending money. You're going to learn how getting your products in magazines ain't no thing. Seriously, it really is not as hard as you think. And I'm going to walk you through that process today. How to create a press snowball effect and get the exposure that you deserve without spending a dime. So a press snowball effect, you know, you get one mention and once you get one, I mean, it just you create the snowball effect that just gets you more media and more media. And it's just kind of creates this frenzy around your brand and your products. You're going to learn one press resource that you can start using today. It's absolutely a free resource and it's super awesome. I, I use it every single day, multiple times a day. Okay. So tell me how would your life be better if your business created a media frenzy? Okay, if people were dying to purchase your products and sales were skyrocketing, how would that better your business? Type in the chat box. Would you, I mean, what's your goal from that? Would you be able to cut yourself a check for the first time? Maybe you'd be able to take your family on vacation. Maybe you could hire your first assistant or um, your first, you know, virtual assistant. That's the best feeling ever when you're able to hire your first employee. Oh, kind of, you know, take the reins, you know, do all the hard stuff. I don't want to have to do that anymore. So if you were able to create a media frenzy around your brand and people were dying to purchase your products and your sales were finally starting to skyrocket, how would that affect you? Hi, Marie from Finland. Steph, I'd be able to work from home full time. Yes, right? That's like, uh, tr trust me, I know how you feel. Contribute to my family. I want a brick and mortar store one day. That's amazing. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, brick and mortars. You'll get there. Just keep keep going, right? Okay. Um, okay, so I have an action item for you right now. Write down your dream publication, and I want you to circle it. Okay. So for example, like this was one of mine. Okay. I want to be featured on the Huffington post and then circle it on a piece of paper really big. So creative. I've also just quit my full-time job. Yay. Congrats. So you just want to make enough money to be able to pay the bills each month without worrying. Oh, I know. And it's the worst feeling ever. So trust me, I've been there. <laughs> my goal is to quit the full-time job and sustain myself with my art. My goal is to build a full brand. Oh, you can totally do it, trust me, okay? And today's gonna, I mean, obviously, you guys are all in the right step because you're here today, right? So you're taking action on what you want. 
Okay, so what can press do for you? This is the main thing, is a lot of people worry about social media and other marketing tools, and social media is great, do not get me wrong. I mean, I built my business with social media as well, but press, man, everything that I did on social media took hours and hours and hours. Most of my time, my husband was sick of me on my phone, and as soon as I started doing press, it was seriously like I could achieve 10 times more with press than I did with social media in like a quarter of the time. It was insane. It was amazing. <laughs> okay, so this happened pretty early on. It was literally, um, I was actually still at my job when this happened. Um, Jamie King, the actress, totally love her. Um, her and T Swift are like, BFFs and I love T Swift. <laughs> um, so she had her son King and she uh, posted this photo of her son in my leggings. I literally like fell off my chair when this happened. It was awesome. Okay. And I'll quickly tell you like how this happened. No, I did not have a PR firm. I did this on my own. I actually you will learn all of the steps that I took today later here in a few minutes. But what I did was I Googled the crap out of all of her people and I found out who her stylist was and I got their email address and I sent them an email and literally within five minutes, I got an email back. Maybe not 5K, it was probably like 30 minutes. But I got an email back and I'm reading the email like, oh yes, we'd love to send. I'm like, this is awesome. And then I get to the bottom and I'm like, oh my gosh. It was signed Jamie King and it was Jamie King's email address. I, I was screaming, I'm like, oh my gosh. So the email came from Jamie. So her stylist forwarded my email to her. And Jamie wrote me back specifically and said, hey, I love your brand. I'd love to have some stuff for my son. Here's my address. Blah, blah, blah. And it was pretty, pretty cool because that does not happen. And especially the first time you reach out for press, it normally doesn't happen. But I got super lucky and had her email me directly. So now we have each other's emails and we've spoken a few times back and forth, which is pretty cool. Okay, so after that happened, sales went crazy that day. My emails um, or <clears throat> my inbox was full from new customers asking about our products and where they can get those pants. Because once a celebrity or influencer posts, everybody has to have it, right? Because they trust and love that person. So they wanted those pants for their kid as well. So my sales increased by 300% in just one day. Now, what would I had to have done on social media or marketing or advertisements to get that sort of income, right? Outcome, I should say. Well, and income, but 300% increase in one day in sales, and it was from one email. Okay, that's pretty intense. Okay, and then this happened. Then I got asked by one of our local uh, studios here in Salt Lake. A producer contacted me and asked if I would, actually she contacted me because she saw me on another show, but she wanted me to come on and do a segment on children's clothing, which is my brand. So. I was able to do that, which was pretty awesome. I was on live television. Everyone local was able to hear about my brand for the first time. Mercia, oh, I probably totally killed that. From Cape Town, South Africa, Mercia. I hope I said that right. I'm so sorry if I didn't. Okay, so I just wanted to say hi. Um, thanks for tuning in. That day, I gained about 600 new social media followers, okay? Just from being on that TV show, it took about 15 minutes of my time to go in and record it, and word spread. People saw me for the first time from that segment, and sales increased by 100% that month, okay? And then this happened. I was featured in Kiwi. That was definitely one of my top fives I wanted to do. Kiwi is a magazine for children, well, for parents, um, but about parenting, and they're all about eco-friendly products and healthy food for their children, organic stuff, um, and that's what, at the time, I was all organic, which was perfect for me. So that was my perfect target audience. That one was a little harder to track, but um, I did notice that our organic line sold 50% higher within the next two months. So a magazine's harder to track only because you don't have a direct link. You don't know where the people are coming from directly. But I did notice that since that one came out, our sales increased. And then this happened. 
Huffington Post, this was like the top five for me too. I, I'm not going to lie. I literally worked on this like every day for like two months and then it happened. It was awesome. But I was featured in this post and things went crazy. My website traffic increased by 600%. I had 1.2 thousand new Instagram followers instantly within 24 hours and my sales skyrocketed by 400% that month. I was, again, if I had to do social media and advertising and marketing for that, that would take way longer than one day, than one day, and it would have cost me a ton of money. So all of the success, exposure, and, um, and increased sales without spending a dime, okay? Without, not all of those things happened without me spending any money. That's when I knew I hit the jackpot. Holy crap, I, I am reaching tons of people here and I'm not doing hardly any work and I'm not spending any money. Crazy. That's when I knew I hit the jackpot. Okay. I knew I had something that was just crazy and I needed to focus my attention on it because that's what was growing. Okay. So why is press so important? First you get credibility, which is huge. Like I said, you get on one TV show and Another TV show piggybacks off that and will call you and say, hey, we want you to come on because we're doing a feature here. It happens all the time. Someone is vouching for you. When Jamie King posted her son in my clothes, a huge person that is in um, the media every single day that has eyes on her is vouching for my brand. Press is free, okay? Don't don't get it twisted, okay? <laughs> yes, if you hire a PR firm, it's not free. But if you do it yourself, press is absolutely free. You're reaching thousands, sometimes millions without spending a dime. You can target your ideal customer and you have an immediate flood of fans, right? Woohoo! if you were a rock star, this is what it would look like. So what exactly would I do? What exactly did I do what I do? <laughs> what did I do to make this all happen, okay? This is where we're getting into the nitty gritty. So pay attention. <laughs> okay, let's talk magazines. Today, press is such a huge topic. We could talk for hours, but I wanted to narrow it down so you could get something that was actionable that you could take home and leave today with. And that's going to start with magazines. So let's talk about magazines. I have a a uh, step-by-step system that I put in place to get featured in magazines. And this is the first step, okay? Number one, become familiar. So you wanna choose a magazine whose target audience is your customer. A lot of people get this wrong, okay? A lot of people just wanna be featured anywhere, so they just pick a ton of magazines or just reach out. Um, it's not gonna help me, because I'm a children's brand, be in a men's magazine. Um, sure, some men are parents, but most of the men aren't going to be doing their job or sorry, aren't going to be doing the shopping for their kids. So I don't want to really focus on men's magazines. I want to be focusing on magazines where their target market is my target market. That's when you hit the gold. Okay. When you, when you join those two forces, that's when your sales skyrocket. Okay. So obviously a magazine like parents magazine, amazing for my brand, right? because their audience is all parents. They all have children and they're looking for clothes for their kid. Okay, so you want to pick one. Go buy the latest issue or two, okay? Go buy the last few issues and you wanna see if they have an online presence. Most magazines these days do. So sure, you wanna check out their print magazine, but what about their online articles and what, you know, if they're interacting with their audience online? And be picky, okay? Don't just choose anybody, be picky. So for me, this is just an example, you know, Parents Magazine is a great option. Kiwi, obviously a great option. Salt Lake Magazine, side note, <laughs> go local first. It's, it's a lot more easier to actually land a local magazine than it is a national magazine. And they're more likely to work with you because you are local and they wanna work with you. They're looking for local brands because they're all a local magazine. So Salt Lake was always on my top as well. Pregnancy and newborn obviously would be a great option for me as well. So those are just, I'm just giving you some examples of how it would apply to me. So number two, 
do your homework. Do not skip this step. Do not skip this step. Most people who are doing PR in-house or pitching, um, they don't do their homework. So this is a very crucial step that you will be ahead of the game if you're doing this, okay? Read through the issue front to back, every single article, okay? Those issues that you just bought, read them, read them. Read through their online articles. Maybe go back, you know, maybe a few days and read through, you know, pick some random ones to go through. Discover what kind of stories that they like to cover. So this is you getting familiar. You're gonna get to know them. So you gotta think of it like, you're, you're dating them, okay? Uh, you want to get, you're going to do your background, right? You want to know who they are. What, what, what are their likes? What are their wants? Do they like long, long walks on the beach? Or do they like sitting at home watching Netflix? Whatever it is, you want to know everything you can about this magazine so you can become, you know, really close with them. Get familiar with their writing style, okay? And words they like to use, who they're targeting, that sort of thing. So for me, um, I just, let's just pick pregnancy newborn. So I would go out and I'd buy, you know, the last issue of pregnancy and newborn and the one before that and the one before that. They're just a few dollars and it's totally worth it for you to have. And I'm just going to go through those magazines and read through them front to back. Okay. Okay. Number three, make a list. This one's crucial. Make a list of the editors writing the stories. Okay, so at the end of every story, and I'll show you in the next slide, but at the end of every story, it tells you who wrote that story. So you don't just want to, most people, and this is a trick, most people don't know this, but when you're doing your own PR, you need to be very specific on who you're contacting. You don't want to just contact the editor in chief. She's not reading every pitch, okay? <laughs> She's just over the whole magazine. But if you contact the specific individuals that are writing these stories, that's where you're going to hit your gold, okay? So make a list of the editors. Make a list of the stylists working the shoots. Also, side tip, let's go back to this slide. See how, see how um, the, I mean, the cover is always the cover, right? It's like the grand, um, what she's wearing, who did her hair. If you open up that first page, it always will say who the stylist was on that cover shot. And that person is gold because if you can get your product on the cover of a magazine, that's like, that, that, I mean, that's your number one goal. Yes, you want to be featured in a magazine, but the cover, yes, that would be amazing. So if you can find the stylist who styled that, that, uh, front cover, that's going to help you get one step ahead. Okay, new, know who the editor in chief is. You just you should always know who, who that is for every magazine you're targeting. Okay, so here's an example. You can find who wrote the article underneath the headline, at the end of the article or at the bottom of the page. So in this example, this is in Parents Magazine. This is the headline of the story. Here's the story, and right underneath the headline, it has writes Chris Brickle, okay? He's the one who wrote the story. So he's a writer or an editor for parents. Sometimes it's there. Sometimes it's at the very end of an article and sometimes it's at the bottom. In this case, it's right underneath that headline, but that's where you're, where you're wanting to look. So for pregnancy and newborn, um, I just made up a phony list. This is not the actual names, so if you have uh, if they're your target audience, then <laughs> don't write these down. They're not correct. But, you know, say that this is what your list might look like. Jane Simpson is the editor-in-chief. Brock Stiles is the beauty editor. Sandy Bird is the fashion editor. Jessica Brown is a writer. So you basically just want to write their first and last name, and then you want to write their position if you know it. If you don't, that's okay, but you can always Google and find out. But you, you, for the most part, you want to know what, um, what specific industry they're covering, okay? Number four, go make friends. Find these people on social media and go follow them. Nobody does this. This is my secret trick. Like, seriously, write a star on this big one, okay? This is a big one. Find them on social media and go follow them. On Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, go be friends with them. Um, 
If they are private accounts, leave them alone. Most of the time if they're private, it's strictly just for friends and family. They don't wanna be bothered with work. So you don't wanna be known as the stalker in the industry. Oh my gosh, that brand is trying to be friends with me too. No, you don't wanna do that. You want to uh, just follow the ones that are open and public. <clears throat> okay, so for example, Katy Perry, I mean, you'd go to her Instagram and you just click that little follow button right here, okay? Or on Instagram, um, but just send them a follow. Okay, number five, say hello, okay? You do not wanna spam them. I don't know how many times I've gone to um, an editor's page and I see brands, hey, I think you're gonna love my brand, come check me out. Don't do that, okay? It is like the worst thing that you could do. Um, <laughs> do not ask them to follow you. Just let it be an organic relationship. Just kind of be there, okay? Um, the trick, the reason why this is such a good tip is because most people follow the main publication like Pregnancy and Newborn Magazine, which may have a lot of followers, hundreds of thousands, if not millions. And no one really follows the individual editors. And if you notice, when you go to their pages, they probably only have like 300 to 600 followers max. Sometimes a thousand, but that's, I mean, they're not gonna have a huge following, so you're more likely to get noticed, okay? Plus, those are the ones writing the stories. The person who's running the major publication account probably isn't the one who's running any stories, okay? So then you wanna comment, like, and retweet. Comment, like, and retweet their stuff. Leave genuine comments, okay? Again, just organic, genuine comments. You wanna compliment their work. If they posted about an article that they wrote, comment on it and tell them that, let them know that you, re you read it. Do not ask them to follow you or check you out, okay? So again, don't say something like, hey, I think you'll love our, our brand, come check us out. Don't do it. Instead, you wanna write something like, I loved reading this article, so many great finds. I might have to go get that killer diaper bag you suggested, okay? Let me fix this really quick. Um, that just lets them know that you actually did read the article, okay? That you're reading their work, you're, you're familiar with what they wrote about. They'll, they'll really take appreciation to that. There's a specific reason why you're doing all of this, okay? So I'm not just giving you these things Hold on, let me see something. Um, I'm not just giving you these things for no reason. There's a specific reason why I'm telling you to do this stuff, okay? And here's a few tips. And this is why. So don't be surprised if they follow back. So this is exactly what you want. You want them to follow you back. And many times they'll take notice right away and they will follow you back. I don't know how many times I followed an editor. Actually, the beauty editor at InStyle Magazine, I started following her. She has a daughter. And um, it was like instantaneous. As soon as she saw that I followed her, she followed me right back, which was pretty awesome because now I'm showing up in her feed every day, reminding her that I'm there. So when she has a story she needs to write about, you know, whatever might pertain to me, she's going to think of me because I'm at the forefront of her mind every day because she sees my posts every day. She doesn't forget about me. But this happens often, okay? they You don't even have to ask them to follow you or anything, and they just see that you're following and you're a brand that they could be interested in, so they start following you back automatically, which is an awesome. So also, this is where it gets interesting. They might reach out to you first, and this has happened to me so many times, which is pretty crazy. They didn't even know they were looking for you, mic drop. Like, it's seriously that awesome because there's a few times I've started following someone, I've commented on their, on their uh, post, and then a few days later, I've gotten an email from them saying, hey, I noticed you on Instagram, and I'm about to write this story on, I don't know, organic kids for clothes, and we'd love to include you. And I, I'm like, man, I did all that work, and it was literally like five seconds of my time to just comment on your post, and you noticed me, and you're pitching me? Okay, that's pretty insane, right? That's, that's like the gold right there. I keep using that word. I need to find a new word. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of the times they will start pitching you because you're already a brand of interest to them. They now know who you are. This is the kicker, okay? I just want you to like marinate in this because this is the gold. 
Um, a lot of people don't reach out to people because they feel like they need to be introduced. You don't know anyone in the industry. But when you create that relationship online, now they know who you are, which is way bigger than half of your competitors right now, okay? Half your competitors, they've never heard of, but guess what, they've heard of you now, and they know who you are, and they've probably looked at your page to see what kind of products you sell. So you are so far ahead of the game, my friend, it ain't even funny. Once they know who you are, ugh, it's so much easier, trust me. So that's why social media is so amazing. When you decide to reach out, they'll already know who you are. Pretty sneaky, huh? So you're not technically cold pitching them. When you email, I always like to say something like, hey, we've connected a bit on Instagram, and then I put my handle at law801 in parentheses. And they're always more likely to write you back because they're like, oh, yeah, we did chat on Instagram. And then they feel like your friend, and then they feel more obligated to write you back, which is the gold. <laughs> Someone like... Like, tell me a new phrase to use, please, because I can't just keep saying the gold. It's the gold. It's the gold. I don't even really wear gold. <laughs> okay, number six, get their info. This is um, probably the hardest part, okay? It's really the most tricky part, and this is why most people hire a PR firm, because they don't know who to contact. They don't know where to find your email address, but we're going to get into that today, okay? So what you do is you want to Google the crap out of them. Google their name. Sometimes there's multiple people with their name. So if you Google their name with their publication, like um, Jane Doe um, with Parent Magazine, Parents Magazine, then it's so much easier to find. Okay, so that helps sometimes. Look on their social media profiles. A lot of people don't think to do that, but many people are starting to include their emails on their social media. So go check them out on social and see if they have their email address right there. And that's literally, excuse me, whoa, <laughs> that's literally them asking for you to pitch them. I mean, if they're putting their information out there, they're wanting you to contact them. Okay, just one second. I'm just gonna take a quick drink of water. <laughs> oh, it's so cold and good. Okay, look in the back of the magazine. Oftentimes there will be information in the back of the magazine on how to uh, contact these people. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do, but a mixture of these and you're bound to find them. And the last but not least is you can always call the publication. <laughs> like, right, why didn't you just say that first? I know, so it's so easy, you really can. There's always a phone number for the publication and there's just you know like a secretary that will answer you can Google the number or it's usually on the back of a magazine. And you just ask them, you know, if you can get the email address for so-and-so, for Jane Doe, and they're, they're happy to send that along to you. It's no secret, you know, it's not like they're trying to keep it from you. Um, so giving just a quick call is always a great way to do that as well. So um, for instance, or for example, let's just say for Parents Magazine, Ashley, Orman is the assistant editor at parents.com, okay? So if you were to Google her information, and this is such the fun part, is when you Google them, you don't just find their contact info, you sometimes run into really amazing articles about them, like this one that I found for Ashley, okay? This is an article that was written on a blog, and she actually gives you pitching tips, okay? And I'm I'm going to stress this to Google them because many times they have done interviews and will tell you exactly what they're looking for. I had one of the editors with O Magazine. Everyone knows O Magazine, right? Oprah is like the gold. <laughs> I swear I'm going to kill myself. Okay, she's like everybody wants to be in the Oprah Magazine, especially the, what is it, the October issue the the her 100 gifts issue right and there's one editor that's in charge of all of that and then they have many editors around it but i googled that particular editor and she had a whole interview about how they pick those gifts to put in the magazine what they're looking for and how they want you to pitch them um, hello, that's exactly what you need, right? So in this one, Ashley with Parents Magazine, she's the assistant editor, 
I happened to run across this blog and she says pitching tips. Okay, this is this is just the bottom part of her interview. And she says that she prefers to be pitched via email. I, I will say 90% of editors want to be pitched via email, not by phone call. She is especially interested in studies about parenting and news of product recalls. She occasionally covers new toys that are educational or unique in some way. So that's gold. So if you have a toy um, that's educational for kids or super unique, she's the one to contact and you know that she's already looking for that. She's also in charge of the website's parenting channel, which includes information on such topics as divorce, family dynamics, and adoption. So even if you just have a blog and you're a blogger and you maybe have adopted a child or you blog about divorce, man, she is going to want to eat you up. <laughs> She's the perfect contact for you. And while she doesn't know any specific pet peeves, she advised pre-R professionals to be upfront. Okay. And I will say 80% of editors say this. They don't want any gimmicks. Just tell me straight out what you're promoting and why it relates to me. What do they get out of it? Okay. That's the biggest thing is you don't want to say, Hey, feature me because my brand's awesome. You want to say, uh, this is how it's going to relate to you. Your readers will love this because, and it's always about them, okay? Your email is always about them. Okay, number seven, pitch them. This is when we get to the fun part. Now you wanna send your pitch. So, okay, pitching honestly is such an art um, that I have perfected. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I hear back more than I don't hear back anything, okay, because I've done my research and I've been doing it for so long that I, I know what works and what doesn't. And we could talk about it forever, but I did want to put a few tips here for you so you could walk away with them. Um, so these are just a few tips to help you get started. You want to address them by name, always address them by name. Copy and paste isn't going to work. Address them by their name so they, they know that you know who they are. Flatter them by referencing their past work. This one always works. Again, this lets them know you've done your homework. You're already ahead of the game, right? You already know what you're doing. You're not just saying, hey, give me press. You're saying, hey, this article was awesome, and I know that I relate to you because of this, okay? And then quickly introduce yourself. Just a quick, many people, oh my gosh, I don't know how many of my clients have sent me example pitches. And it's like most of the email is about them, how they got started and their bio. And I'm like, oh man, come on. They just, they literally have like five minutes to read your email. Their inbox has a hundred pitches. Quickly introduce yourself. That's not the most important part. Give quotable content. So you know how on magazines there's always um, like that, big headline like in between the letters that's really big in quotes they're always looking for quotable content so make it easy for them to read maybe bold it in your email so they go straight to it and end with how they can contact you okay um yeah you already sent them an email they could just reply but put it in there just in case they print it off or send it to one of their assistants also always give a phone number I had Forbes, was it Forbes? No, it was Fast Company. So Fast Company, I sent them a pitch and I inserted my phone number at the end and I got a call from her within like one day. She emailed me and wanted to interview me over the phone, which was am amazing. If I wouldn't have put my phone number, would she have called me or would she have gone on to the next pitch that did include that phone number? So this is just a quick email formula guideline. Okay, it's just a quick standard to help you get started right here. Address them by first name, a quick one to two sentence bio, um, the pitch, quotable content, and then the outro with your phone number and email address. Okay. Okay, so example. Here's an example of like a quick pitch. Okay, I mean, obviously, this isn't the whole email. But something like, our spring collection will be launching late March, and I'd love to send you some samples for your summer issue feature finds page. So this particular magazine fe has feature finds every summer, okay? I think your audience will love them. I've inserted some photos below. Please let me know if you'd like to receive any of the items and reply with the shipping address. I'd be happy to get these ASAP. 
or get these sent out ASAP. So you always want to offer, um, if it's a physical product, to send them some samples. Okay, they like to see them in person and make sure they're, you know, good quality and exactly what they're looking for for their story. Here's another example. I'd love for you to consider our latest yoga mat for your next yoga shoot or story. Our mats are made from 100% recycled materials and our customers are falling in love with our vibrant prints. We really think your readers would love them. I'd be happy to send samples your way if you're interested. So that's, I mean, look how quick. I got tons of information in there, right? They know exactly what I do, what my brand is. It's about yoga mats. She knows why I'm contacting her today. I didn't fluff it up or fluff her feathers. I quickly told her about our mats and why they're different. They're made from recycled materials and we have vibrant prints. And we mentioned how their audience would really like it. So we let her know that we've thought about what she's going to get out of this. And then you all offer to send samples, which is always nice. Editors love to send samples because they get to keep them most of the time. So <laughs> those are two really good examples. So I'm going to give you a few extra tips if you want to write these down. Um, pictures are a must. Editors love receiving pictures, okay? You gotta, you, you gotta insert some pictures. But you don't wanna add them as an attachment, okay? You wanna insert the photos into the body of the email or you wanna have a quick link. And a good rule of thumb is to have like a lookbook or um, you know, just a, a product photo page um, URL that you've specified specifically for press with your website. So it's not really, nobody can just go on your page and find it. It's just a specific link that you can send to press. Um, but they love those. They don't like the attachments. They never know if they're downloading spam or if it's a virus. Make it short and sweet, easy to read, just like I showed you in those examples. Always link back to your website. Always have a link back, okay? Offer to send samples and pitch stories that will interest their readers, okay? It's about them. Remember, the email is about them, not about you. So be confident. Remember, you are an expert. Um, you already know more than most of the population about your niche. So own that. You know what you're talking about. Pitch as if you're the president of your niche. So every time you're pitching, if you, um, someone on here says that they have a jewelry line, pitch as if you are known as the jewelry expert in your industry and have that confidence when you're pitching instead of saying, you know, uh, let me think, uh, it's hard to think off the top of my head, but instead of saying like, um, you know, we really think that rose gold is going to be in next month. We've noticed the trend and we we really think that you will like it instead be confident and own it and demand it and say rose gold is it has proven to be on brand this year and is going to make a huge statement in fall and you know you it's hard to think off the top of my head but you you understand the point you get the point is you kind of sound oh you're not quite sure and the other one is you are telling them what is in demand right now, right? And they will read it that way. Okay, so someone had a question. Is it possible to pitch without offering samples? My products are handmade, higher end. Would it be possible with local magazines to schedule an in-person photo shoot? Okay, so is it possible to pitch without offering samples? Yes. So um, absolutely, you can offer samples. Uh, or sorry, you're asking not to. Um, I mean, I've pitched without offering samples. But many times they ask for them. Um, feel free to pitch without the offer. But just know that they might come back to you asking for samples. And if you don't have them, you just need to be upfront and tell them and say, we don't have samples, but I can send you as many high resolution photos as you'd like. That might be a good enough solution for them. Um, would it be possible with local magazines to schedule an in-person photo shoot I don't, I guess I don't really know what you mean by that. Um, if they, if they wanted to work with you or if they're running the story on you, um, I don't know. I'd have to get more information on that. Okay. So, and last but not least, you need to follow up. It's extremely important. 
I don't know how many people I've talked to and they're like, oh, I reached out, I pitched and I never heard anything back. And I'm like, okay, well, how long ago was that? Oh, it was about a month ago. Okay, so when did you follow up? I didn't follow up. I just figured that they would email me if they were interested. You guys, these guys are so busy. They have so many emails. Your pitch is not at the front of their mind all the time. So you need to follow up and let them know you mean serious business. Sometimes it just gets buried in the bottom of their inbox. You know how it is. I'm sure you've forgotten about an email that was, you know, at the bottom of your box, but you wanted to reply that you just didn't get to yet. So don't be afraid to follow up. So on week one, one week after you've sent the pitch, yes, only one week, send a follow-up email, okay? Just wanted to make sure you received my my previous email. Is, are, uh, I, do, are there any questions I can answer for you? I'd be happy to do that. Um, week number two, so two weeks. If you still have not heard back from the pitch or the follow-up email, send a final follow-up email, okay? Two weeks after, find, send one more email. If you still have not heard back, move on and pitch a different story at a later time, okay? Which is um, definitely doable, by the way. Just because you pitched them once and they didn't get back to you does not mean you can't pitch them a different story. You don't wanna pitch them the same continuous story. Obviously, they are not interested. But you can pitch them a completely different story. And that's actually how I've gotten most of my press is I've pitched someone, maybe not have heard back, but then like maybe three or four weeks later, I sent another pitch with a different angle and then they picked up that story, okay? So you will never get what you don't ask for. And this is the biggest thing is most people are just really scared to try it, which is funny to me because once you do it and you get it, you're like, man, that was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. How in the heck did, why did I not do this sooner? <laughs> so get out there and make PR a priority, okay? And I promise you, you will see results. You just have to put in the effort. I have so many people that are like, I want press, Linz. Lindsay, how do I get press? But I don't know what I'm doing. And it's like, okay, well, what have you done? Well, nothing. I just, nobody's reached out to me yet. And you're like, I'm just like, oh man, you guys, these people aren't getting pressed because they're sitting around waiting. They are working for it, okay? If you make it a priority, it will happen. So take action. Here's some few, a few tips to help get you started, all right? Pitch at least five times a week. Five times a week. Anybody can do that. That's just one pitch a day. 20 to 30 minutes of your time daily. Come on. How much is that worth if you were to get somebody to feature your clothes on a celebrity account and your sales increased by 300% that day. Tell me that would not be worth your time and effort rather than spending money on other marketing efforts. That's just Monday through Friday, 20 to 30 minutes of your time. You got it. You can even pass it off to an assistant if you have one, okay? But remember that you got this. It's totally possible, okay? So just an example, you could like write down a quick schedule, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Write down the publication you're gonna reach out to write the editor's name that you're reaching out to, write the story that you're gonna be pitching them, and then any comments, if, they've heard, if you've heard back from them, if they said, okay, great, we wanna run it, or they, they wanted samples, okay? This is just a quick example of what you could do every day. You could do this like Sunday night and quickly write it out and just do one a day. All right, so the cool thing with press, like I've mentioned, you get to skyrocket sales and reach more people with less effort. Like I said, I totally hit the jackpot, right? Because I was spending like a quarter of the time and reaching 10 times the amount of people and increasing my sales by a ton. It was seriously like, why aren't, I was literally like thinking to myself, why aren't more people doing this? Why? is the business, small businesses, they just don't know this. I, I can't wait to tell them. I was seriously like super excited. I like texted all my small shop friends, owners and said, oh my gosh, you need to start focusing your time on PR. I promise it's gonna be awesome. So there's five things that you can do to maximize the exposure that you get. And I'm sharing three of those today, okay? You wanna squeeze every last drop out of your 15 minutes as 
possible. So you get featured, okay? You get featured on the Huffington Post. Woo! Yeah, like party, have a drink, have your friends over to celebrate. That's pretty huge. What can you do? Okay, you can maximize that by number one, you want to add it to your press page super quick. Like as soon as it happens, the first thing on your checklist should be, I need to add this feature to my press page. If you don't already have one, you should get one. Um, it does not matter if you start with large press, you can start with small blogs. I started my press page with like being on blogs and I just would write down the blogs I'd been featured on. And then I started to slow, oh, I started to slowly weed those out um, with larger publications, okay? Number two, tag the editor if possible, thanking them for including you. So what you wanna do is share it on social media, <clears throat> share the link everywhere. Okay, share it everywhere. And you wanna, when you share it, don't just share it because yay, it's you. Remember, it's about the editor, right? So tag the editor if you can find them, if you're friends with them, and thank them for including you. And remember that they didn't have to feature you at all. So this is you thanking them. This is amazing, okay? One, they wanna work with you again because they know once they feature you, you're gonna share it. And that's their job, is to get people to read their articles and get more people to their website, okay? So if you're driving traffic to their website, that's gonna make her look good to her boss and she's gonna love that. And two, um, I don't remember, did I already say what? <laughs> or where was I? So one, it's that she's gonna wanna work with you again over and over and over again and two, you're making her look good. She'll appreciate it. Okay, so number three, create an as seen section on the product page itself. So this is awesome. If a particular pair of your earrings were featured in a magazine, get an as seen, you know, little sticker or logo or whatever, create an as seen in little, little image and put it on that product page and then put it in, you know, as seen in, in style magazine. So when people go to that product page now and they're kind of, you know, over the fence, you know, should I, they're on the fence, should I buy these earrings? Should I not? I'm not quite sure. And then they're going to see that as seen in, in style magazine. Ooh, that's a hot item. And it always nudges them over the fence to make that purchase. Okay. So yes, you have a press page, but when you do it on the specific product that was just featured, then they're more likely to purchase it. Okay, so type in the chat box below if you've ever pitched a magazine before. I wanna hear where you guys are at. Some of you may have never pitched a magazine before. And some of you maybe have pitched one or two. Some of you just maybe don't even know where to start. And maybe some of you have actually been working on your PR game, but you just aren't seeing any results. So type in the chat box if you've ever pitched to a magazine before. And I'm gonna take a drink of my water. My voice is like turning super hoarse. It's awful. Never. You've tried a few. I'm scared because I don't know what to say. I know, right? That's, you can't be scared. You just gotta get out there and try it, you know? You'll learn your pitching process. I haven't approached magazines because I sell patterns for dresses and not the actual dresses themselves and haven't found the right magazines yet. You know that there's a ton of sewing magazines out there, right? <laughs> Like there are tons of craft magazines, um, magazines for stay at home moms, do it yourself magazines. Um, I mean, all of those magazines would be perfect for you, especially the do it yourself and sewing magazines and you know, the ones that you would find like in Joann's or something, those would be perfect. <sighs> Sorry, this water is like amazingly good today. Maybe I'm dehydrated. So a lot of people, when I ask them, they say, like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know who to contact. I don't have the contact information. So they're waiting, right? 
right? They're just sitting there waiting. They've got these ideas. They may know who they want to contact, but it's basically, I want to, but I'm just going to sit here and wait. But you're not doing anything to make it actionable. You're not doing anything to get going. So that's exactly what you don't want to do. <laughs> Repeat after me. Starting today, I commit to making PR a priority. Literally 30 minutes. That should say a day, not a week. Sorry, guys. That's why I like to do it like this. So if I see any issues, I can like go right in and change it. Um, 30 minutes a day you could do, okay? You could even cut that to 20. But you can make PR, when you make PR a priority, it just happens. It just snowballs. Well, like remember at the beginning when I showed you this happened and then this happened and then this happened and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm just this girl from Salt Lake City who knows nothing about anything. <laughs> okay, so if once you make it a priority, things happen. Again, repeat after me. I will target specific publications. Publications whose audience is filled with my ideal customer. Okay, not just anybody. I know people who have gotten press like, oh, yeah, I was featured in this magazine this one time, but, you know, I didn't really see anything from it. It's probably because the magazine was not filled with your target audience. I have an amazing product. It deserves all the media attention in the world. Okay, let's fix that too. Um a lot of people feel like they don't deserve the media. Like they, they, they don't, they're not a big company. I'm not a big brand. I don't deserve it. You absolutely do, okay? Remember that you created a product for a reason. You had a specific goal in mind and you deserve that media attention. Okay, so let's move on to the one resource you can start using today and that's helpareporterout.com. If you have not heard of this website, I highly suggest that you go now. Like as soon as we leave this workshop, you should go check it out. Um, it's a, it's a it'll completely walk you through it, but it's free. And what it is is editors and reporters are looking for stories to write or products to feature, and um, it's just queries. So you just go through and read them and see if any of them apply to you. And if they do, you just reply back with what they're looking for. And it's I mean I've gotten so much press from this. I. Inc.com, Fast Company, um, I'm trying to think, um, Business Today, I've all been featured because it was through Help a Reporter Out. So go check them out and literally they're showing up in your inbox every single day with stuff that they're looking for. Okay, so here's why you showed up today. Let me guess. You feel like you're working so hard for each and every cell and you just need to reach a larger audience. Trust me, I feel ya. You want to take your business to the next level, a level that's more professional and allows you to sell more products, okay? So you can quit your job. So you can do this full-time at home. <clears throat> you struggle with growing your brand and business with, without spending money that you don't have and on expensive marketing tools, right? You don't want to you don't want to pay a bunch of money. You don't have the money. So this is literally like the fast track, right? Remember Cliff Notes? Like <laughs> I used to use Cliff Notes all the time in junior high and high school. They'd give you a book to read and you had to write a report on it. And I never had time to, so I'd always just read the Cliff Notes and then I'd write the report. Press is the Cliff Notes to your marketing, okay? It fast tracks you to success and makes it go quicker without spending money. Crazy, crazy good. You never receive product requests for features, interview requests, or media attention at all. I know, it's most like most people. You're sick of marketing stuff that isn't working. You want a complete roadmap that shows you exactly what to do, step by step, how to gain brand exposure, and increase your sales to build a profitable, profitable business. You just want someone to show you how to do it who has done it, right? It's exactly how I was. You want to learn a press strategy that actually works and have someone guide you through it, showing you exactly what to do next. Someone who has done it themselves. You want to reach a ton of people, right? That's the goal. You can't sell any product unless people have heard of you. 
without spending money, without wasting time, and without working so damn hard. So a fellow shop owner sent me an email the other day telling me how much she spent on social media ads this year, this last year, and she hasn't really seen any boost in sales. That sucks, right? That sucks. She's been wasting her money trying to grow her brand, trying to make more money, but she's actually losing money, which is really crappy. But I told her, look, press is free. Your, your focus should be on press right now. If you put as much effort in your social media marketing and your Facebook marketing and your advertisements as you did in press, oh man, you would not be having this problem. <laughs> okay? Which is exactly why you should be focusing on it. So let me tell you a little secret. I am nobody special, okay? I'm not special at all. Remember that I had another full-time job when I started Law 801, okay? I was just like you. I started on a shoestring budget, not being able to take any sort of income for the first year of my business, which was such a bummer. I didn't even know what PR was. I mean, like I'd heard of press and media, but I didn't know like <laughs> really what it meant and how to do it or how to even send a pitch when I first started. Um, like someone said, I just don't know what to say. I was there with you, trust me. So I'm really excited for you because I would have loved this when I was in your shoes. It's going to literally change everything in your business. I created Press Queen. So Press Queen is an uh, e-course that's going to show you how to get press step by step and not just show you, but like tell you exactly what to say. Like it's, it's pretty awesome. So my e-course shows you step by step how to get featured in magazines, TV shows, major blogs, and how to work with celebrities to skyrocket your sales, and how you can get press in the next 30 days, okay, 30 days, without hiring a PR firm or without any prior experience. So it's a step-by-step -step guide to getting free publicity for your brand and business without spending a single penny, yay, right? You don't have to pay for blog sponsored posts or advertisements or boosted social media posts. It's a guide that shows you how to reach more people and increase sales with less effort. Remember how I told you jackpot? It's like literally was like, oh my gosh, all of this stuff is happening and I keep getting more sales and I'm hardly doing any work. This is awesome, okay? This is a guide to show you how to do it. So don't wait the pre for the press to find you. 90% of the time, they won't. 99% of the time, they will never find you. Not because you're not awesome. We all know you're awesome, okay? But <laughs> they just, they're, they can't ever find out about you if they don't know who you are. So you need to actively reach out to editors, reporters, journalists, celebrities, and et cetera to get the press that you know that you deserve. So this is just a quick run through of the course. Module number one is the preparation, how to get ready for press. Yes, there is certain steps that you need to take to get ready because once you get it, I mean, you get tons of traffic and you need to be prepared. Choosing which publications to target, I help you walk through that. Connecting with the right people, making sure that you're not contacting the beauty editor. If you sell, um, I don't know, shoes, <laughs> you wanna be the fashion editor, not the beauty getting to know the reporters. Module number two is how to connect. The secret way that I have of connecting with these people, who to reach out to, how I got emails from celebrities. So I'm gonna walk you through, I kind of told you a little bit about the Jamie King story, but I'm gonna walk you through exactly how that happened and how to reach out and exactly what to say. I know a lot of you have said, I don't know what to say. I give you the exact I mean, emails that I sent. So you get to preview the emails that I sent and replicate them for yourself. So you have a guideline, okay? Module number three, perfecting the pitch. This is a big one. My pitching process that works like a charm, okay? Um, exact, actually, when I started implementing this pitching formula into my Haro pitches, I started getting a nine out of 10 response rate. That's huge, okay, that's unheard of. Most people don't hear that. They pitch Haro all the time and never hear anything back. Okay, mine, mine's been crazy. Exactly what to include in your pitch, how to land TV spots, which is major, oh my gosh, and it's so much easier. Wow, TV spots segments are so much easier. Trust me, they're looking for you already. 
what to include when gifting influencers and celebrities. So there's a way that you can send them product in hopes that they do pit or post because they never guarantee that they're going to post anything about you. But there's ways that you can kind of help push that. And how to create an ongoing relationship with these people. So you want to work over and over with them. Module number four, skyrocketing sales after press. So how to triple the press coverage, how to skyrocket your sales and traffic. Yes, there is a specific thing that you can do. I gave you a few of those tips, um, but there's so many more to help you skyrocket your sales. And how to continue to get press over and over again. So in my course, what you'll get, you'll get lifetime access to all class materials, including the any updates. So any updates I do, like every few months I do, um, you're going to get access to that, okay? You get five training videos and tutorials. You're going to get access to me anytime you have a question, okay? So if you're stuck somewhere, just shoot me an email and I always get back to you. You get workbooks to help you get through the modules, to kind of guide you through it, show you what to do next. Um, all future course bonuses and upgrades, you get those. So once you get lifetime access, you are in. Anytime I add a bonus, you get that bonus. And example pitches, that got me a yes. Again, this is kind of everything that you'll get. You'll get the course with the modules, the workbooks, the video tutorials, all of my bonuses, all wrapped up in one pretty little package for you. And what you'll create. So in this course, you'll create a press strategy that actually works for you. A roadmap to get you featured in places like magazines, the Huffington Post, podcasts, and even working with celebrities. You're going to get a marketing tool that gets you a ton of brand exposure with little to no effort, a PR machine that skyrockets your sales every month, a system that gets your brand in the media over and over again. Okay, that's what we want. Because once it continues to happen and snowballs, if you can get a press mention like every month, man, that's going to help sustain your sales, right? You're going to increase every month. That's what you want. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have some bonuses for you today, and I'm super excited about them because they're pretty awesome. So bonus number one is a, my media kit template. I have this for brands as well as bloggers. So I have a blogger media kit template as well. Um, that you can use. So this is a template that you can go to and you can just switch out pictures and then just insert your own information. Um, that should say bonus number two. They're all backwards. Okay, bonus number two is actual emails I sent that got me a yes. So this is, uh, I'm gonna make sure that I don't just go over them. I'm gonna be sending them to you. So you have them in, um, PDF format so you can actually look at them at your own time. And bonus number three, three, is my press strategy spreadsheet. So this is a strategy spreadsheet that I put together that um, really helps keep you on track for everything and lets you know so you can even pass it on to an assistant and they can continue to work on it. But it um, helps you keep your strategy in place. And then I have my fa fast action bonus. So this is only for you guys today, okay? Um, if you sign up for my course today, then you're going to get my Instagram marketing, the basics. This is um, something that I offer in my store, but you will get it for free. And then you'll also get my 12-month pitching calendar. Man, this one's gold. This one's so good. I've never, I've, I've never given this before. This is something I use for myself, and I've never given this to my students, but I'm giving it to you now. And it's a pitching calendar to help you stay on track. It makes things a little more actionable and easier to obtain. Um, so that's awesome. Um, the total value for all of this is like almost a thousand bucks, okay? $967, which is a lot because I offered a lot of bonuses, right? But your investment today is just $297. So 300 bucks and you're going to get all of that stuff and you're going to have your own PR machine. That's pretty incredible. Um, PR firms charge thousands of dollars. <laughs> So sure, you could spend thousands of dollars or you could spend 300 bucks and know how to do this for life and uh, continue to do this over and over again, even when you get bigger and um, your assistants can start handling it for you. So that's pretty big from $1,000 to 300 bucks. Pretty amazing. Wish I had that option when I was <laughs> starting out. Would have saved me a lot of time and effort. 
So here's what you do. You just click the button below where it says click here to enroll in Press Queen. And then you're going to see this screen with the final steps. You're going to click on here and put in your information. And then you can either pay with a card or you can play with pay, pay play. <laughs> you can pay with PayPal, which is awesome. I know a lot of people love being able to pay with PayPal, but it's super easy to just check out. Um, you just enter your info and hit submit order. And then an email will be sent to you with instructions on how to log in. So you get immediate access like right now today. Um, I do have a money back guarantee. If you do the work, show me your results, and you still aren't happy with the course, I will gladly issue you, issue you a refund. I want to make sure that you're getting everything you want out of this course. Okay, so my fast action bonuses are only available for about 10 more minutes, and we're actually like so far over time. I told you I had a ton of info to go over today, but I do want to open up for questions. So some of you may have gone through and asked questions already. I haven't been able to go through back and forth between the chat and this the whole time, so I may have missed them. Um, but if you have any questions or you need clarification on something, please just go ahead and chat or type in the chat box. But remember that the fast, fast action bonus is going to be ending. So the 12-month pitching calendar, which is kind of, I'm something pretty amazing that I put together. Um, and the basics of Instagram marketing, you're going to be able to get that as well, which is my, uh, um, it's a video where I show you how to grow your Instagram, fo Instagram followers to help increase sales too. Like again, without spending money. That's my whole thing is you don't want to spend money on ads and stuff, right? So I'm going to, I like to show you how to like work the system and get sales through other ways. So, yeah. I feel like I'm like running out of breath. Okay. So I'm going to grab a drink, but if you have any questions, please type in the chat box below. <clears throat> a lot of people ask me like, Oh, how long does it take me to go through the course? I don't have a lot of time. Um, that's such a good question. I, so the course is five modules. Well, it's four modules with a bonus module and the five modules, I, I like for you to go through them one week at a time. So it's one week per module, so about five weeks. But it's really go at your own pace. So if you're able to cruise through those um, and actually get the work out of them, then it's about um, five weeks basic. But you can get through it quicker if you like. And if you don't have time to go through it, you can always take longer if you like too. You could take two weeks per module. So it's really just up to you. It's go at your own pace. So you're able to do this at home. You can come back to it. You know, I have had people where they start working on it and then something happens in their business and they just have to pull away from that focus and go work on something else for two weeks. And then they can always come back two weeks later, but you still are able to log in. And like I said, you have lifetime access, go at your own pace. Um, so if you have any questions, make sure to just type in the chat box. I'm going to grab a quick drink really, really quick. My timer isn't working. Bummer. Like I said, this water is so good, but I feel like I'm losing my voice now. Did I just talk like super fast? I got to... I got to like one point and I'm like, oh my gosh, I still have, have my, my presentation to get through. So I started to <laughs> try to speed things up. Do I have an email funnel I use? Um, as far as when people sign up for my newsletter, is that what you mean? An email funnel that they get put into? If that's what you're asking, yes, I do. I do have an email funnel when somebody signs up for my newsletter. So creative. This has been great. Thank you. You are very welcome. I really hope that you were able to walk away with um, tons of info and you're not so scared about the pitching process now. <laughs> I hope that you're like, okay, this is totally doable. Because it is. Anybody can do it. Thank you, Lindsay. You are very welcome. And I hope if any of you guys like leave and get just get super inspired and you, you know, go and start working on 
your press strategy. I want to hear from you. I want to know how it's going. If you got a media mention, let me know. Shoot me an email. I'd love to hear about it. Oh, you are very welcome. Oh, I've seen Jessica, you joined. Awesome. Can't wait to see you there. Aubrey, I think I know you, Aubrey. Aubrey, if I do, where do I know you from? <laughs> I don't know. But your shop name sounded familiar. I just noticed it from your email address. But um, thanks for joining. Um, welcome to the other side. I can't wait for you to get some press. Super excited for you. You took the leap. The first step is investing in your business. And I know sometimes that can be really hard. Um, it was hard for me when I first started. And then once I took that first step, I was like, man, this is awesome. I'm so glad I did this. Do I collaborate with other shops? Yeah, I collaborate in all kinds of different ways all the time. Justin, I don't always, I don't know why, but I appeal more to like women, I guess, because I don't always get men, but we just had a Justin join um, press queen. We love having men in our little group. Okay, just a few more minutes. If you have a question, I am here right now. So you're going to want to ask them ASAP before I have to go pick up my daughter from school. She's in preschool today. And again, you don't want to miss out on my fast action bonus that I've got going on. My 12-month pitching calendar really is awesome. It's the only thing that keeps me running. Um, I It's a lifesaver when doing PR in-house. It makes the pitching process simple and actionable. I know sometimes it can be scary or you're like, oh, who did I pitch last week and do I need to follow up? So this calendar is really, really good to keep you on track. It kind of lifts, lists everything out for you. Um, yeah. Okay, we got about like three more minutes until I'm going to sign out. I, did I really do that good on my presentation, you guys, that I have, like, hardly any questions? <laughs> that never happens. I always have follow-up questions, so I guess I can take that as a compliment, right? <laughs> mm. Maybe it's you guys are sick of hearing my voice. <sighs> I know I've been talking for a long time and my voice is annoying me now. <laughs> oh. Tina. Mm. Sorry, I got a piece of ice. Tina just joined. Awesome. Thanks for joining. You're going to love it. Press Queen. Maybe that's why, because it's called Press Queen that it doesn't attract very many men. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Chelsea, did I already say Chelsea? Thank you for joining. I can't wait to see you on the other side. I love it when you guys join because then we could become friends. It's like, oh, we start to like email back and forth and I love hearing your success. Like when I get an email back from somebody like, oh, I was featured on people.com today. I'm just like, yes, like it's the best feeling ever. I get just as excited as you do, <laughs> I feel like. Was it really hard to find manager emails for celebs? Sometimes it is. I mean, um, sometimes I've never been able to find a manager email uh, for a celebrity. And, um, but I'd say a lot of the times you're able to find it, you might be down the rabbit hole of Google, like on page seven before you find it, but there's usually always a way. And if not, they usually have like their management company and you can always call and ask for their email address as well. So that's always an option. 
I just tried to look one up and it seems so easy that I'm worried it's fake info. It's, it's not, I'm sure it's not. It may be, sometimes they've been outdated. I'm not going to lie about that, but it really is so much easier than you think. You're able to find the information so much quicker than you would have thought. And that's why I'm like, man, all these people are paying PR firms to do this when you can do this yourself. I mean, it's totally doable. Once you know what to do, how to do it, um, then it's so easy, <laughs> right? I love that. I just tried looking one up and it seems so easy. I'm worried it's fake. Oh, that just makes me laugh. Okay, guys, my fast action bonus is going to end here soon. I hope you don't miss out on it. I'm super excited to get started with, with a few of you. Chelsea, Justin, Jessica, Tina, Kristen. I'm just kind of naming you off as you go down. Uh, all right, about one more minute left, and I'm going to sign out. If you have any questions, hurry and type them in the chat box before I leave. I don't want to I don't want to leave without answering all of your guys' questions. Oh, now now the sun has went away. It was all nice and sunny outside. It's all gloomy. <laughs> but yes press is so awesome. This really has been like one of my favorite workshops because I'm so passionate about press um, because it's really changed and transformed my business. It's, it's really something that's, I wouldn't be where I am today without, without doing my own press in house. So I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed it. All right. I'm going to log out and you can always shoot me an email if you have any questions. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm super happy that you did. And I will see you guys on the other side. If you're impressed, Queen, I hope you have an amazing day.